In this video, I will show you how to make this exact animation in Blender. And you will also learn how to make moving objects interact with cloth objects. Okay, so let's start off by making this cube into a perfect sphere. So add some subdivisions, apply the modifier, then press tab for edit mode, then press Alt Shift S, then one to make it into a perfect sphere, then press tab for object mode, and then we can add some smooth shading as well. Okay, so let's save before we continue. Just give it a name and save it wherever you want on the computer. And then next, we need to add the collision physics to the object. You can just add the basic settings with some friction. And then press Shift A and add a plane. Press R, Y, then 90. And then press G, then X to move it on the X axis. And then press S to scale. We can also scale it on the Z axis to make it longer. So press S and set. And then press Ctrl A and apply the scale. And then before we add the cloth physics, we need to add some subdivisions. So press Tab and then subdivide by right clicking. We can also go down here and increase the number of cuts so that we have some vertices to work with. Then hold in Shift and select these two vertices. The cloth will be hanging down from these two vertices and then we can add the cloth physics settings. First of all, we can increase the number of steps to increase the quality of the simulation. It's going to take longer to bake, but it's also going to look better. And then let's enable internal spring as well as increasing the quality of the collisions. We also want the cloth to be able to collide with itself, so enable self collisions. And then let's pin the group of vertices that we just selected, so we'll add it as a vertex group. We can go back to the cloth physics and set these vertices as the pin group. And then press space to play the animation. As you can see, it works. So the next step will be to animate the sphere as well. So let's save one more time. And then we can add an empty. So press Shift A. And then let's add a uh, sphere empty. And then press G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And then select the sphere, hold in Shift, and select empty. And then press Ctrl P, set it parent to the object. Then next, we can select the empty, then press Shift S, and then cursor to select it. And then select the sphere. And then let's pivot it around the 3D cursor. Press Shift D, R, Y, then 90 and then Shift R to repeat the previous actions. And then I'm going to save one more time, and then let's select the empty, then press N, and then we're going to keyframe the rotation of the empty. So uh, let's press I to keyframe, and you can go to the last frame, and then let's rotate it on the Y axis. And then press I to keyframe once again. And then to make the speed of the rotation constant, we can press T in the timeline and set the key from interpolation to linear. Let's save one more time. And as you can see, the speed of the rotation of the empty sphere is now constant. And I also think we need to add some smoothness to the cloth. So uh, let's add some smooth shading. We can also add some additional subdivisions, like this. And then let's save one more time. And then I'm also going to delete these two, so press X to delete, because I think we only need two of uh, these spheres. And then to give the cloth some thickness, we can add the solidify modifier. So let's set it to 0 0.01. And then we can also bake the simulation so that we don't have to play the simulation over and over again. Go to cache, bake. And then after a few minutes of baking, you're going to have the final simulation. And I'm going to save one more time. As you can see, we now have a uh, nice simulation that we can play over and over again without having to uh, and the simulation calculations over and over again as well.
and then I'm going to add a background image. You can find free HDRIs in the description to add some lighting to the scene. And then let's add some uh, basic lighting by using a sun. Set the strength to five and then you can press R twice to rotate the sun freely. And then when we go in to render view, you can see that we have the background image and the ball and the cloth. So I'm going to hide the background image by going into fill and then enable transparent. Next, we can select the sphere, add a material. And I'm going to use cycles. And if you have a GPU, you can use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. And cycles is going to make the shaders look much more realistic. So just play around with the different colors and the different types of shaders. I'm going to use the velvet for cloth and then a glossy shader for the sphere. And then we can add a plane. Just give it a simple glossy shader. Something like this. And there we have the animation rendered. Okay, and then next, I'm going to move the camera to the current point of view. So you can just press Control, Alt, Numpad 0. And then go into view, camera to view, and then I can adjust the position of the camera as well as the rotation. And then once you're happy with the scene, we can start getting in to the output settings. Okay, so I think this looks nice. So let's go in to the output settings. And then we can select a folder for the final images. Just create a new folder, give the animation a name, and then it's going to be saved as many PNGs, which you can then turn into an MP4 file. I have a tutorial on my channel on how you can convert PNGs to an MP4 file, which is useful in case Blender crashes. And that's it for this tutorial. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want more Blender simulation tutorials. I have a bunch of them on my channel.